In today's tutorial, we are diving into one of the coolest new additions to ShedCN, the field component. I'll show you step by step how to use the new field component to create a modern fully functional form with validation, error handling and a clean layout. All using the latest ShedCN setup with clear explanations and references to the official documentation. We'll also be using Tanstack form and all the code we'll write today is available for you on the public GitHub repository, you have the link in the description below. We have here a fresh copy of Next.js, but we can do this in any React framework. I'll create a tutorial for Tanstack start as well. And first thing we are going to do is to go to the ShedCN documentation and open our new field component. Here we need to copy our ShedCN registry command, this one, which will add all these components to our project, which are later used to create our forms. So I'll copy this command, pmpm dlx ShedCN latest add field, you can use npm yarn or bun or whatever you're using on your project, and I'm going to paste it inside of my terminal. So this one is going to initialize ShedCN for us, because I still don't have ShedCN on this project, so yes, we want to add the components.json file and we'll choose stone color for our ShedCN theme. Now everything is being written into our components.json and we have our field components together with the whole ShedCN initialization. And if we go now to our code, we can see that we have the components directory added to our project and inside we have the field component label and separator and all of them are used for the creation of forms. But we are still missing a couple of components to create our complete UI for our forms. So we are going back to our terminal and here we have the old command for adding our field, so pmpm dlx shedcn latest add and here we are going to add button, so that's to submit our form, then we'll add card, that's to wrap it up to make it look nice, then we need input, so to put in some input for our forms, and we're going to put input group to make it a little bit fancy, you'll see what am I talking about. And now we are adding all of our dependencies that are needed, so we can see button card input text area input group, and we can see them as well here in our code. Now we can start creating our form. Inside of the components directory, I'll create a new one, and I'm going to call it forms. And here I'll create a new file and call it bug report form.tsx. Now we'll use here a little bit of AI to just power up to create this component quickly. So we have bug report form component and inside we'll create our complete form. And to create it, we'll use the official ShedCN documentation and it is here inside of the docs slash forms. And we have two, that's React hook form and Tanstack form and use action state coming soon. So we'll pick here Tanstack form. And this is the best way to implement anything inside of your projects. Just follow the official documentation. And that's exactly what are we going to do here. So we have here the documentation for the Tanstack form implementation. And by the end of this video, we should have a form that looks exactly like this. So let's go to the implementation. We have here the approach. So we need to use Tanstack form. We have the use form hook. We'll use the form field components from 10 stack and we'll also add our own field components from ShedCN. So we'll have a complete client side validation using Zod and real time validation feedback. And this is how it should look in the end, but let's go first to the implementation. So we need to create our own schema and to create it, we need Zod. So we don't have this dependency yet. I'm going to add it with simply pmpm add Zod. So this one will add Zod for us. Here it is. We have now Zod dependency and we can copy this entire thing inside of our bug report form. So I'll put it just on top of my file right here and 
we can see that we are importing Zod and we have our form schema where we have our title and description. So it needs to be a minimum of five characters for our title, maximum 32, and here minimum 20 characters and maximum 100 for our description. Now we can continue with our documentation. So we're returning back here to the official documentation and we need to set up our form. So here we are adding this form which is using the use form hook and that is really important to know so here when we add the use form hook that one is being pulled from the 10 stack react form dependency and we still don't have that one so we'll add that one as well here we are adding pm pm add at 10 stack react form done so that one is good but now because we are using use form so let's first add it from the 10 stack react form we need to put in the use client here inside of our component because this one needs to be a client component because we are using hooks and as we can see here we are also using toast so let's add also shed cn sonar toast so it's the same command like here but we are adding just pmpm dlx shed cn add sonar like this nice we can just go to the documentation right here and we can search for sonar to see how is it being implemented we are using again you see this so we are going to the documentation and we are just following what we need to do so we are putting toaster inside of our layout file so let's open the layout file quickly to add here our toaster and we are going to add it from our components ui sonar and now we can just see the usage here so to use it we are just using it like this and we need to import toast from sonar so we can close our layout file and i'll add here toast so now we don't have any problems anymore and we can just display our toast messages when we have something and when we submit some data now when we don't have any more errors we can continue again with our documentation but not with toaster with this one so we added our use form and here we can start by adding our form and we have the complete thing right here so i'll just copy and paste it but i'll explain exactly what it does on each step so we need to add this first let's add this on submit so this is the part that we don't have and that's just to display what are we submitting inside of our form but in a more fancy way like we are just putting in like this like the code to show it and we are positioning it better so this is just a better looking toast and nothing else and then we can add this whole card together with the whole form to our rendering part so here instead of this div we are putting in the card and we need to add all the components so let's return back again here to copy and paste all the imports so here we can see that we are importing button card fields input and input group and we added all those components in the beginning so let's add that one to our component right here to our imports we can see that we don't have any problems here but we have some problems here so it's the children type issue and that's to avoid passing children using a prop this is a biome rule but we can bypass this one easily we'll just ignore this one for now since this is a forms video if you're using eslint you'll not have this problem right here i'm migrating all my projects to biome so we can just suppress this rule for the entire file and explanation this is just a tutorial like this okay so now we don't have any more errors and we can put this component to our main page so here we are removing all these default things from next.js and we'll put in just one main like this and we'll put in our bug report form nice so we just now need to start it up a little bit i'll put the height screen then flex then justify center and item center so we can put our form on the middle of our screen so now if we open our project it is probably not going to work because we installed a bunch of dependencies yes so we need to restart our dev environment with one simple pm pm dev and now when we refresh our localhost 3000 we can see 
our form up and running. And we can now already submit and we can see that the validation is already working. So we can type in here anything that we want or dev and this is my description. And if we submit, we can see that toast message with all the data that I sent to this form. And let's see how does it work. So we are going back to our code inside of our bug report form. So first thing we are doing is we are creating a Zod schema with our title and our description. So here we know exactly what are we receiving. We are receiving a string of title and string of description, and we have this minimum maximum characters. Then we are putting that one to our use form hook. So by default, our title and description are empty, and we are putting our validator to work on submit. Now, 10 stack form is really awesome and we can put here whatever we like. We have, for example, on blur, that one is good, but what I would use always on my forms is on change. So if we put on change here and here, if I refresh, if I put here submit, we see that nothing is working, but if I start typing org and then fifth character, it's automatically validating all of my input fields and it's like this is the best solution probably for these kind of forms. And here on submit, our data is already validated and we can safely send it to our server side. So it passed client side validation. Then here inside of our rendering part, we are wrapping everything up with the card component. So this is that one that you see here, these lines and also this title and description right here. And then we are starting with our form. So we have ID of our form. Then on submit, we are doing the form handle submit. And then inside of our form, we are starting with our field group. So this one is a Shadzian component. Then we have the form.field, which is a 10 stack component. So there we are determining the name of our form field and we are putting it, we are passing in the children. So that was the problematic part for biome. So we are putting in the variable if is invalid. So we are checking if this state is touched and if it is valid or not. And based on that, we are now here returning our field this time from ShedCN. So everything that you can see here, this field, field label, input, field error and field, everything here is from ShedCN. So we are putting in the field and we are checking if the data is invalid or not. And that one basically determines if we have that red color and error messages and stuff like that. We can see that one here inside of our field error. And inside of our input, we are passing in the ID, name, value, on blur, on change, everything that we need in order to check like in real time, our form validation. Now, next one, the description field. This is the part where we are using that fancy input group thing. Everything is basically the same. Everything is exactly the same, like in terms of infrastructure and everything with 10 stack, like the first field right here, except here we are using the input group. And together with that input group, we are using input group add-on. And that is the state here, how many characters are we typing inside of our description? And if we can check it here, so here when I start to type, you can see that it is counting my characters right here inside of this add-on from our input group. This is just a simple way from ShedCN Creator to showcase us the power of these input groups and button groups and everything. So I really like this part. And finally, inside of our component here, we have the button, which is the submit button where we are submitting our entire form or reset where we can reset and just start from the beginning. New field component is definitely the best addition for me in this new ShedCN release. It is not forcing us anymore to use React hook forms and those form components. We can use now anything we like. We can use React hook forms, 10 stack form, our own hooks. So it is really easy and flexible. And that is the main thing about the field components. I hope you enjoyed in this video. If you have any any questions or doubts, just ask me in the comments. I'm always answering. And if you want more content like this, join the mighty horde, subscribe.